ಸರ್ವಧರ್ಮಸ್ಥಾಪಕತ್ವ ಸರ್ವಧರ್ಮಸ್ವರೂಪಕ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಹಾಚಾರ್ಯೋ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ತೇ ನಮಃ ಓ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಫೇತ್ಸ್ ಎಂಬಾಡಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ರಿಲಿಜನ್ಸ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಅಮಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಓ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮೈ ಸ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಯು ಅವರ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಹಾಚಾರ್ಯೋ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಬೇನಿ ಮಾಧವ್ ಪಾಲ್ಸ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅಟ್ ಸಿಂಥಿ ಸಿಂಥಿ ಟು ಅಟ್ ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ದ ಫೆಸ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೇಮಿ ಆ್ಯನ್ಯುವಲ್ ಫೆಸ್ಟಿವಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಮ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ಲಿ ಡಿಲೈಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಶಿವನಾಥ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಿ ಟು ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಮೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಡಿಲೈಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಸರ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಟು ಸಿ ಶಿವನಾಥ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಹಿ ಸೆಡ್ two devotees meeting each other is like two hemp smokers meeting each other now is the time we will rejoice over smoke they will even have a great uh, deep embrace and then they will start uh, enjoying the smoking of the hemp then they will start talking about the lord then they will start talking about the divine and then uh, shri ramkrishna said that uh, it is not that all the people who are accompanying these devotees they also have the same attitude these devotees they may be so much uh, steeped into the worldliness that they may not rejoice the talk of these two uh, devotees of the lord these two brothers these two siblings the other people may not rejoice then they will start uh, finding excuses okay now we will go and sit outside you come you enjoy your talk we don't have uh, any interest in it and shri ramkrishna says for such type of people hmm, for such type of people shri chaitanya deva and nitai they had come up with that beautiful uh, 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 very uh, 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 ingenious scheme they would say people come 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 chant the name of lord chant the name of hari join us in hari bol and what you will get you will get a bowl of soup of magur fish and you will get to embrace a young woman tempted by these two allurements people would join them not knowing that chanting the name of hari they would get into totally different oblivion they will get we get on to a totally different plane they will actually forget about magur fish soup they will forget about embrace of a young woman instead they will start shedding tears shedding tears chanting the name of the lord and rolling on the ground missing their lord where are you lord hari where are you lord hari and though at that uh, shedding of the tears it became the soup of magur fish rolling on the ground clutching the earth that earth was the beautiful woman and rubbing uh, uh, rolling on the ground in the divine fervor thinking about the lord hari was embrace of the young woman so this is how uh, uh, chaitanya deva and nitai they uh, played with the uh, requirements of these people what they needed what they thought of what they wanted to enjoy and they turned those worldly enjoyments into a divine fervor after the chanting of her name of hari hari bol hari bol hari bol now shri ram krishna says that these worldly people these worldly people they 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 they, they are also endowed with the three gunas that the lord has given now it is not that all the worldly people they behave like these people uh, whom uh, chaitanya deva and uh, nitai they had allured there are some worldly people i mean people living in the world but not of the world like uh, shivnath shastri so shri ramkrishna said even the worldly people these worldly people are possessing the three gunas that the prakriti has given to them they are all filled with sattva rajas tamas and depending on the predominance of that quality depending upon the predominance of that guna they will uh, behave in certain manner the worldly people with 
Sattva as a dominant would be a great devotee, of course. He will be a person with certain characteristics, with certain traits. Now Sri Ramakrishna is telling about the three traits of the worldly people, how they behave towards uh, the, the devotional uh, uh, journey, how they behave towards the spiritual path. Sri Ramakrishna says, the worldly people, hmm, they are endowed with uh, 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 the, the sattva. The worldly people who are endowed with sattva, how they behave? Sri Ramakrishna says, perhaps his house is in a dilapidated condition. He is not maintaining the house in a proper order. Maybe this wall is cracking, the door is falling. He is not worried about it. It is in a dilapidated state, maybe the home. He doesn't care to repair it. The worship hall may be strewn with pigeon droppings. There may be birds uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the shrine. Pigeons, they have made their hole. They are raising their families. Uh, in one corner of the shrine, there will be pigeon droppings. But this person is not worried. The worship hall may be strewn with pigeon droppings and the courtyard covered with moss. No cleaning undertaken for that matter. But he pays no attention to these things. The furniture of the house may be old. He doesn't think of polishing it and making it look neat. He doesn't. He, his nature is like that. Chalta hai attitude kind of. He doesn't care for his dress also. What he is wearing, is he having good kind of a, a neatly uh, cleaned and ironed clothes? He is not worried about it. Anything is good enough for him. Anything that God has provided is good enough for him. That is the person endowed with sattva. But what are his traits? He himself is very gentle, very humble, very quiet kind and he doesn't injure anyone. He is living in his own divine realm. Me and my mother. That is the way person endowed with sattva. There is no external purity at all he is concerned with. There is no external show off that he is concerned with. He is only concerned with his divine love for God. That he will not compromise for any kind of, uh, uh, at any cost. Me and my Lord, me and my mother, those only will be his main concerns. He is not worried about what is the condition of my house, what is the condition of my clothes, hmm? what is the condition of my courtyard, is there dirt lying over there, what is the condition of my shrine, nothing doing. Me and my Lord. Servant and the master, the child and the mother, that is what matters to him the most. So that is the worldly person endowed with sattva. Now, such people, if we, if we uh, carry forward Sri Ramakrishna's example of Chaitanya Deva and Nitai calling people, come, 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 chant the name of Hari. These people, just at the first call, they will go and join Chaitanya and uh, uh, Nithai and start chanting the name of Hari. These are the kind of people who are endowed with Sattva. Then, people who are endowed with Rajas. What, what are these type of people? Again, among the worldly, there are many people with the traits of Rajas. Such a man has a watch and a chain, you know, all show off. Such a man has a watch and a chain, two or three rings on his fingers. The furniture of his, uh, of his home is all spick and span clear. On the walls hang portraits of the Queen, the Queen Victoria, the Prince of Wales and other prominent people. You know, all show off. Neat, tidy, everything spick and span with beautifully, beautiful pictures adorning the, wall of the uh, walls of the house. The building is whitewashed and spotlessly clean. Pakka, everything neat and clean. His wardrobe is filled with a large assortment of clothes. Not just one or two, you know, torn dhotis or anything. No, a full assortment of clothes. 
morning wear afternoon wear evening wear night wear hmm? wear at the in the house wear for the parties all that could an assortment of dresses even the servants have their livery and all that so that is the kind of uh, 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 show of life the rajasik people they will lead and when chaitanya deva and nitai are calling people to join in the name of uh, uh, chanting the name of hari how these people will be they will only listen to the allurements that they have promised the allurements temptations of the bowl of fish magur uh, magur fish soup and the embrace of a young woman the rajasik type of people they will get tempted by these kind of temptations and then they will go to chant the name of hari having chanted the name of hari what will happen that is a different story altogether then they will test the real soup of magur fish by way of shedding tears chanting the name of the lord then they will enjoy that embrace of a young woman in what way by rolling on the ground in divine fervor chanting oh hari where are you oh hari where are you that is the kind of yearning then they will get into it but by and large the rajasik people are of this type that's what shri ramkrishna says then shri ramkrishna says the traits of worldly man who is endowed with tamas now tamas is sort of the lowliest of the qualities it is total negativity it is total darkness or tamas itself means darkness there is no scope for enlightenment this tamas again we can uh, 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 compare we can align it this word tamas with the buddha jivas that shri ramkrishna had taught us uh, during the initial teachings they are totally ignorant about this path of spirituality they are totally into the darkness they are filled with ignorance and their traits now shri ramkrishna is explaining the traits of worldly man enduring with tamas are sleep lust anger egotism and the like the people with tamas they are the ones who are attacked by the six alligators the six alligators of lust greed envy pride avarice pride and uh, 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 jealousy all these negativities they are filled in the people endowed with tamas these people won't even listen to the call of chaitanya deva and nitai the call doesn't reach their ears at all they are the most unfortunate ones who are far away from getting on to the path of being a mumuksha path of being a seeker they are absolute buddha they are totally bound souls in to the worldliness they are the souls who are steep into worldliness they don't care for what lies ahead for us these are the people who will never even listen who will never even hear the call of chaitanya deva and nitai forget about they are telling them come here is the magur soup come here you will get embrace of a young woman for them that is also not there so these are the kind of uh, traits uh, shri ram krishna has explained of the worldly people and my interpretation of how the people of these three types of uh, qualities the sattva rajas tamas how they will react to the call of chaitanya deva or and nitai or to the call of shri ram krishna shri ram krishna has come to uh, sinthi uh, uh, brahmo samaj to attend to their festivities and spread his teachings and talk to these devotees interchange the ideas exchange the ideas what they have to say what i have to say that is kind of a, a, a communion that shri ram krishna is going to have with these brahmo devotees and he has explained here to in today's teaching the three types of traits that the worldly people they are endowed with the sattva the rajas and tamas and how kind of they will react to the call of divinity the sattva people they don't need call they are on their own they are 
on to this path of divinity. The Rajasik, they will first of all listen what is in there for me. Am I going to get anything out of it? Then they will get onto that path of divinity and having got onto that path of divinity, then they will really experience the wonderful fruits of the divine path. The Tamasic people, they will remain away from the path of divinity in totality. They have got nothing to do with it. So that was Sri Ramakrishna's teaching for the day. Om Namah Shri Bhagavate Ramakrishnaya Sri Ramakrishna Arpanamastu Jai Thakur Jai Ma Jai Swamiji.